Hi, you have reached the podcast of Professor Chaim Shor. In this episode, why a Jewish rabbi wondered that son in Hebrew not named Eretz. Why a Jewish rabbi wondered that son in Hebrew not named Eretz. This podcast is based on an excerpt from the book Coincidences in the Bible and in Biblical Hebrew, section 8.1. As reported in Jewish written sources, the name Earth in Biblical Hebrew was the subject of much debate and puzzlement over the ages. The source for these was the fact that the name for Earth in Biblical Hebrew resembles the word for run, namely, move fast. Earth in Hebrew is Eretz. Run in Hebrew is rats. A geocentric worldview, according to which all heavenly bodies are rotating around Earth, was dominant for over 1,500 years until the late 16th century and onward, when it was replaced by the aliocentric model of modern science. See entry, geocentric model, on Wikipedia. Living in the geocentric worldview, Jewish scholars over the ages were puzzled about this resemblance of Eretz and Rats having same philological root. They explained that this similarity is most probably due quote-unquote to the fact that the moon and the sun and all stars are running around the earth. Rabbi Donitz Hakabarbanel 1437 to 1508, a well known commentator on the Bible, did not accept this interpretation. Pursuing the geocentric worldview of his time, Abarbanel explained, in his commentary to Genesis, that since the earth is a still center, it would have been appropriate that the wheel, meaning sun, should be called a retz and not the still center around which it revolves. Obviously, living prior to the historic shift towards the heliocentric worldview, Jewish sages have tried to fit their interpretations to the scientific knowledge of the time. Abrabanel rejected their explanations, based on pure logic. The Jewish rabbi was obviously unaware that not many years later, Copernicus, 1473-1543, in his book published not long prior to Copernicus' death, would start the heliocentric revolution. This resolved the quandary, raised by the Jewish rabbi, about a single biblical Hebrew word, Eretz, which to this day is used in Hebrew and in other languages, like Earth in English. Eretz A biblical Hebrew word, which to this day is describing accurately what planet Earth is actually doing, namely, running around the sun. Thank you for listening. Until the next episode, goodbye.